last time on Rememorex. While the boys have an awkward conversation with Mr. O'Keefe, the girls have an awkward conversation with Donna's dad. Something lands on the roof, and Donna gives Maddie a concussion. But I guess the real question is, what's up with the moths? I guess we'll find out next time on Rememorex. Hey everyone, it's Joey Pedras, aka Raider Hansen, and before we start our show, I would like to introduce you to a new special guest. Here he is. Hi, my name is Ralph Atanasia. Uh, you might know me from television's Cake Boss or Buddy vs. Duff. You can find me at Cake Boss Ralph on Twitter and Instagram, and you can see my chocolate and cake sculpting videos uh, at Cake House on YouTube. It is a brisk October afternoon, 1983. This is uh, the Thursday before the week of Halloween. Halloween uh, is going to be next Wednesday. Uh, It's Thursday night. And um, all of you have received uh, intricately um, decorated invitations to the Frankenstein family... Halloween. Yes, spooktacular. Spooktacular. Yeah, thank you. That's. I was trying to come up with what the pun would be. It's definitely a spooktacular. Frightening Frankenstein family fiesta. Oh, it was a Monday. Okay. Oh, did you just look back into that? Yeah, but the party is on Saturday. Yeah. Well, then where did Wednesday come from? (laughs) I literally. Gomez and Morticia. I'm sorry. I quit. (laughs) <laughs> I'm not you talking about that. Here. Yeah, yeah this invite, is my fault. You invited him. Okay. Uh, right. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, it is Thursday evening. Um, the leaves have turned and are being raked out of all of the beautiful suburban lawns. There's uh, the sun is dipping below the tree line and turning um, a shimmering color of orange and. Uh, Raider Hansen and Isley O'Keefe are at the Roy Rogers. Yeah, you're at the Roy's and there's a new poster on the door of, uh, of a shark chasing a water skier. Well, that looks like a movie. Uh, as you're getting closer, you can see that there's going to be a broadcast, uh, a special broadcast. It's the, the symbol for Local 58, the local uh, TV station. The Night of the Party there is going to be a broadcast of Jaws 3D. And at this location, you can get your own 3D glasses so you can watch the terror unfold in the third dimension. How do you want to do this? <laughs> the, only way, the only way I know how. Can I have three of those? <laughs> <laughs> so you just burst right in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Can I have three of those? And kind of points to a, a sign. The lady behind the counter looks at you and... The door? You want three doors? No, no, no. no, no. I want three of those glasses. The, the Jaws glasses. We can only give out one per customer, okay. sir. Damn it. <laughs> well, listen, ma'am. We've, we've got a very deep situation where... A deep situation. My mom is really sick. And, I and the only thing her. that can cure her is Jaws 3D? No, but she's stuck What kind home. of sandwich do you want, kid? I would still like a roast beef sandwich. Okay. 37 cents. He is, like, visibly, like, discomforted. I wasn't kidding, though. I want to roll on my lines here, but he's really not lying to her. But, like, I want to roll it. I, yeah, I saw. It. I saw his mom. She doesn't look. She looks Four sick. Ten. She softens visibly. It. All right. Um. Well. She hasn't gone out of bed for. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. Just my boss has been up my ass about these stupid glasses. We only have so many of them. She comes over with a small handful of the glasses, drops them down. I. I. 
Thank you so much. Uh, here, You're nice have lady. a holster full of fries. Oh, you are an angel. <laughs> okay, what about you? Fry riders. Uh, yeah. One of those. A holster full of fries? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, two fries, one sandwich. Uh, buck 15. You got this? Thanks. It's just a sword and chain hands you a sword and chain. <laughs> <laughs> I have the change I got from my dog. I have a sword and change. Uh, okay. <laughs> she starts going through the pennies one by one. Okay, this, and she shovels it into her hand, is a dollar. This, seven cents. So we're yeah, set, right? Button. Oh, we need another, like. Five. This is a bottle cap for Labatt's. Give me a bottle cap. This is what? Is yeah. that a tracking, tracking hair? Yeah. Okay. This is a cricket. <laughs> and you know which one. That's gross. <laughs> it's been in there for a while. It's been in there that for was a like long months time. ago. I don't know if the crickets live that long. Wait. Yeah, no, it's dead. <coughs> I, pull, I, I pull out of like another 50 cents. She. It's like, okay. Keep the change. <laughs> oh. All right. She puts the money back in the. That's for the, the glasses. You were nice. So, this change counting, this is that suburban horror I keep hearing about? Yes. <laughs> yes. Change Riveting her. change counting action. Um, both of you guys give me a perception check. It has been a few days since your, uh, fateful sleepover, uh, that went so badly. You were both still technically grounded, but you're on your way home from school and nobody can check in on you during that. What'd you get for the perception check? 18. Nine. Uh, you see in one of the corners in the back, um, fidgeting with a book is Lyle Frankenstein. Now, now is Lyle, is he, is he a new kid or is he like, he's a new kid. Fairly okay. New, yeah. What is, do I know what he, do I rec recognize what he's reading? Uh, can you another perception check? 14. Skunk ape, fact or fiction? Or you, you tell me. I was going to say 40 in times. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you probably have both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're, you're making a, a graph. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we know. <laughs> this is what we do not know. This is what we do not know that we do not know. Yeah, you've got a little map of, uh, map of the eastern seaboard. You've right. got your skunk egg book. You've got, uh, I would say you've got two different copies of the 40 in times. Um... Ever since you moved here, you had to like shift your whole thing because prior to this, uh, you'd been all about, uh, you know, you, you'd been all about learning about uh, yeah, Bigfoot. Primarily and, the Bigfoot, but also aliens. And look, there's ghosts, still aliens, yeah. but way less Bigfoot in Delaware. And ghosts are everywhere. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if uh, I didn't say this before. Lyle Frankenstein is. Uh, obsessed with cryptozoology and paranormal phenomena. Okay. Okay. Just for the for the readers at home, people who are reading this podcast right now. Reading. Did it. I mention that I am a goddamn idiot <laughs> in real life? <laughs> so I, I kind of I nudge Isley and like point over. I think he knows about that thing we saw. I mean, probably not. But I do probably own one of these. It's like, a, it's like one of those weird monsters here. Isley walks over and slides a uh, 3D glasses across the table at you. Oh, hey. That's going to help because you need at least like 20 more pairs. So you've just been eating right about the morning and <laughs> <in> the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm trying to get him for the party and I've right, just yeah. been stuffing myself. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. This is actually a big help. You didn't see these things. No. Don't you try. Actually, she gave them to me. When you were up there, did you see where she grabbed them from? I can't see over the counter. Did I? Uh, Give me a passive criminal check for that. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Rudy. Seven. Hey, what are you reading? 
You saw like there was just some boxes over no, by no, like no, no, where the, just, uh, just, just the equivalent of whatever the Happy Meal is, like the boxes over there, the kids there, meal boxes. There are some boxes of them over by the kids meal box. You, um, you help me out. You help us out. Maybe. You know about monsters and stuff, right? Like weird stuff. You like weird stuff, right? We've got some weird stuff. I know more than you could possibly comprehend. Good, good. You could help us. We could help you. All right. All right. I need a few more pairs of these glasses. For the part. To the, my mom's. My mom's stupid party. Mm, oh. Can you guys distract the cashier? You, by the way, you, uh, your mother just said, go get. 30 pairs of those glasses. Uh, you have gorged yourself on Roy Rogers and you now have six. I can't keep doing this, you guys. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Your stomach is rumbling even as you speak. <sighs> you got any ideas? What do we th- She seems pretty... Stressed already. Yeah. Um, could, could you... How much have you been eating this stuff? Oh, you want to go and steal them. No, it doesn't work. Right. Look, I just need you to get her attention for 20, 25 seconds tops. How do you feel about puking? I mean, I could puke. I could puke any day of the week, but <laughs> <laughs> is that going to be enough? That's, that's what I just You might have to go and get them up. Right. So I just like go over to the front counter. <laughs> <laughs> Is so right or dying. Right. On it. No further discussion. Immediately added to the counter to puke. Just, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, it's happening. All right, here we go. All right. So I, like, go to just, like, we're going to roll an active klepto. All right, what are you using to puke on demand? This crazy voice count. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Nail it. Yeah. Uh, one. <laughs> one? I don't know if you puke. Yeah. Tell me yeah. I rolled the one. I don't know if it's <laughs> too much vomit or not enough. <laughs> just gagging in front of you. He's dead. We've lost him forever. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Jaffe said <laughs> our, our game master, Muttley, has shown up. <laughs> yeah, alright. So you just walk over and <laughs> and on the third one, you crap your pants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wrong end. Lady, can I have a, a lot of napkins? Give me all your napkins, please. <laughs> uh, I need all your napkins. The lady is just standing there with her jaw like down, just. Why did you come over here to do that? <laughs> What's even happening right now? And she starts gathering up big wads of napkins and handing them to you. Why would you come to the count? Just go to the bathroom! I am having the worst day! Oh, Harold's dead. I'm not even supposed to be here today! <laughs> take take a five, rolling take down a five her face. minute break. I, I, You're not my <laughs> boss! You don't get to tell me to do that! You're just a giving crap to himself in the room. <laughs> just, he just came here and crapped himself in the Roy Rogers after <laughs> <laughs> buying a holster full of french fries. I can't believe it. Shut! I rolled an eight on a klepto. Oh. Uh, okay. Like super green. Rolling all over. <laughs> well, she's definitely distracted. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You 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 just bodily launch yourself over the counter, <laughs> uh, and she hears the clattering. You skitter around behind her as she picks up like uh, like one of those little press the lever and a straw comes out. Yeah. yeah. Like you knocked one of those and like an entire cash register on the floor. <laughs> she just puts the, the the straw thing back up and is, all right, here, napkins, please. Just like, are you like, sick? Do you need me to call a hospital? No, 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 no. I'll, I'll be right back. Thank it's, you. Take your nice, time. Nice lady. Don't rush on anyone's account, kid. 
I hate my job. <laughs> Alright. So I assume you've scampered off to the bathroom? Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah. Yeah. Now, you are behind enemy lines. Oh no, I'm still there. Oh yeah, you you, you just had to get over the counter. Oh, shoot. Right. But you can see the box that's uh, that's marked 3D glasses. All right, what do I do? What do I do? The problem is, is that this, you know, you're down like around this lady's leg. She still hasn't seen you. Okay, 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 okay. You as yourself. Make yourself small. I am small. I'm, I'm a small little kid. You can hear crying from the bathroom, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Poor geez. Raider. All right, is there anything around that I can do the old toss a thing and make a sound somewhere else distraction? Uh, hey, give me an active kleptomaniac. Active klepto, huh? All right. That's a uh, 10. Salt shaker. Yep, salt shaker. I, I, take it, I, I grab it and I, I roll it across the thing as hard as I can towards the, the, the opposite direction of where I am. She sees it and... Just goes back to tapping her her nails on the uh, on the cash register. Is there anyone else that we know in the Roy Rogers? Um, <clears throat> there's an old guy reading a newspaper in the back. Uh, there's a lady with a side ponytail who has just given up on her sandwich and thrown it out and is leaving. There's nobody <laughs> because else. Because of the kid who shit himself. Yeah. <laughs> Not great for business. <laughs> Would you eat somewhere where he shit himself? So, like, real publicly. <laughs> so you're still there, I, I take it, just sitting yeah. in the middle of this uh, this R and R here. There's, you yeah, you're, you're you're in you're you're in a a disaster of a Roy Rogers. It's just one lady manning the counter and crying quietly to herself. There's some kid <laughs> cleaning himself up in the bathroom. There's a, there's another kid just standing there as if he's waiting for like some sort of Steve McQueen like escape situation. And then the two people, one of whom is now quickly leaving. I can't even I can't even get your attention because I'll draw attention to myself. <laughs> yeah. Um th- this this feels weird, but um I think and then how long that sandwich is on tape. I wish I had you. Are there any more salt shakers near where I am? Oh, yeah, there's like a whole rack of cool, them. Because cool, they used to like 80s plastic salt shakers where they're disposable. Once they're done, you don't oh, yeah. refill them. Is there like a shelf of like, you know, plastic cups or, or some, some things that could conceivably be not? Oh, over? totally, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to. Ah, some stuff in there. In the door walks. Uh, Maddie's dad with Otis. Who's Otis? Okay. Otis is Maddie's uh, little oh. brother. He's in he's in the elementary school. He is a nightmare. He is a nightmare. <laughs> and I can only imagine what he would be like in a Roy Rogers. I want a holster full of french fries, but I want one of the french fries to be shaped like a gun, and I'm going to shoot my sandwich, and then it die, and then I'll eat the sandwich. Okay, okay, Otis, just settle down. We're just here to get a sandwich. That's a... Uh... Hello, Mr. Maitland. No, what did you no, call him? No, Mr. Maitland. Which one? Ramus. Ramus. I thought no, you probably you definitely would have called him Mr. Maitland, and yeah. his eyes just narrow at you. That's He's <laughs> still really pissed. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. I'm just weighing on my sandwich, sir. Aren't you grounded? Sandwich, sir. <laughs> You're not supposed to be getting. All right, I don't care. You, he you, goes over to the. Uh... You saw my house, sandwich, sir. <laughs> Actually, he didn't. He didn't right. up. I'm gonna. Well, she's got to be the screaming kid and all yeah. this stuff. I'm gonna make a dash for those glasses and try to get out of there. All right. Okay. Not a good roll. All right, that's a six. You've managed to grab the glasses, but once again, your accursed shortness has worked against you. So you just hop up, get the glass, and you felt like you were grabbing the box and you're gonna leave with it, the box tips over and now the glasses have all spilled out on top of you. Is there any way to get under the box? Yes. Like solid snake. Yeah. <laughs> you just pull the box down on, and you, the lady's like- Yeah, that's an 11. Oh, come on. And starts like gathering up the, the she's gathering and just putting them in big piles on top of the box. <laughs> um, all right. She needs some help. Stay there. Okay. Uh, she goes over to go pick up your sandwich. Uh, Mr. Ramus is still dutifully waiting. Uh, 
Yep. Okay. While she's doing that, I'm just gonna like try to walk the <laughs> box out from behind there. <laughs> dad, 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 dad. What, Otis? <laughs> Haunted. <laughs> Haunted. Haunted by the ghost of Roy Rogers. You're still alive. <laughs> Still alive, Otis. Ghost of the horse. Yeah, maybe. What are you talking about? Uh, give me uh, active klepto to not get caught. All right. Oh, that was really that's good. 14. Yeah, you're, yeah that's you're, much better. He just looks. There's no longer a box. You got to stop making up stories. Dad, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> Lady comes back over, angrily drops a sandwich in front of you. No, I didn't. Two holsters of fries. Thank you. Very much. You didn't do anything. She's my friend. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, a, like the leader of a parade. Like just... <laughs> I, don't why, I don't know why you did that. Attention public. I have an announcement to make. <laughs> All right. Free sandwich? No, I'm going to leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is yeah. the worst day this lady has had at this job in a long time. I mean, she works at a Roy Rogers yeah. in so, Delaware. So I've desperately, I've, I've, I've just stuffed all of my many pockets full of 3D glasses, and I'm trying now to nonchalantly <coughs> make my way back over to my backpack and books so I can get out of the restaurant. So yeah, you come like through the like, so you're in the back area where like the the workers and stuff are. You're no longer directly behind the counter. Oh geez, well I really went the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you get out. Is ah, there's, okay. a, there's a door yeah. over there, unless you're trying to just launch yourself back up over no, the counter while be, there's yeah, all these people. That would be foolish. Um, yeah, so you come around the other side and you're now just dripping with 3D glasses. <laughs> nice. I'm going to take some other things while I'm there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's back there, but if there's anything. Uh, you, you have, uh. You want me to roll a, a passive yeah. klepto and just see if I spot anything worth taking? Yeah. Oh, you're definitely taking stuff. The question is. Well, that's a one. All right. <laughs> I think I'm still in the box. Oh, shit. Okay, you come out and you sit back down and you've got like, you grab like a little bag um, uh, and yeah, it was like a little cloth bag and you grab like a bunch of those holsters that you put fries in and uh, you grabbed like, um, there was like a plastic uh, sheriff's badge that you saw and you put that on there like the sheriff and you zip open the bag and it's full of cash. <sighs> <laughs> like more money than you've ever seen in your life. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. That's from him rolling a one? You just robbed Roy Rogers. Oh my god, 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 I'm just, I'm just terrified and I don't know what to do and I just start putting money in pockets and just muttering, oh my god, 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 oh my god. Um, I'm gonna say I take about like five handfuls of money and then zip it up and just like rigid as a, as, as a board, just start walking out of the back of the store. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, you've cleaned yourself up at this point, Raider, and you're, uh, you're coming yeah, out of the bathroom, right. and oh, you see uh, Lyle walking out with this bag that he's holding in front of his face. No, I don't take the bag. I just, I just, I just put a bunch of money in my pocket. So you're just leaving the bag, the bag on the, the table? I, I can't. It's too much. Okay. It's not on his table that he's usually sitting, he's sitting yeah? Yeah. Wait. I'm hitting up the bag. No, 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 no. He's in the back when this happened. Oh, wait. I took the bag out of the bag is what you're telling yes. me? Yeah. So I said... So you took the bag when you, you saw, like, a little, like, cloth bag. You just assumed it had, like, silverware or something in it. Yeah. And then it's full of money. You are now sitting at the table. You've stuffed money into your pockets. But there's still what has to be at least $1,000 in 1986 dollars in this bag. Uh, I, I panic and put it in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. It's you, too much money. I'm 13. I don't know. Yeah. You throw it right out. <laughs> Did I see this happen? Will uh, give me a here. pass. <laughs> give me, uh, yeah, definitely give me a passive uh, criminal on that one. Seven. So, yeah, uh, you're watching the lady have her interaction and you've sat down, you're eating your sandwich, you're waiting for Raider to get out. 
and you see the back door burst open and you see Lyle come out. He's really excited. Oh, I've got 3D glasses. Awesome. I've got little cardboard holsters. I'm the sheriff of Roy Rogers. Oh, no. And then <laughs> panic, panic, stuffing money into pockets, panic, throw the bag in the trash, panic. And he's gotten up and is stiffly walking out the back door of Roy's. Okay. Um, I'm going to start... Actually, before I do that, I'm going to turn and I'm just going to say... Um, Miss, Mr. Ramis, I, I know it's not worth... He's sitting with Otis, who is <clears throat> has taken each piece of his burger apart and is categorizing it with little toothpicks. I love this. Kid. This is the meat. This is the exoskeleton. These are the brains, and these are the lungs. The lungs of the tomatoes. <laughs> He's going to be a bug scientist one day. He's oh, definitely. Yeah. The dad is watching with a mixture of horror and pride. Uh, he looks up when you come over to the uh, to, to his table. Yes, Mr. O'Keefe? For what it's worth, and I don't know what it's worth, but um, I'm sorry. I can understand what it would be like when you're terrified to lose something so, like, precious and needed, and I, I guess we just didn't think of the time frames or anything else of that sort and it was foolish I'm sorry well it was very brave and mature of you to say that and uh, you know what I'm, I'm proud of you maybe I'll put it in good word with your father thank you sir by the way I don't know what he's doing, although I've listened to him, but I'm just pointing at Otis. I am categorizing my specimen before I consume it. Like a tarantula. And but then he, he is... starts <laughs> gathering it up into a ball. But, um... Your son's awesome. <laughs> just... You hear that, Dad? I'm awesome. You're awesome, son. Good job. He pats him <laughs> on the head. <laughs> don't encourage him. Uh, Quit while you're ahead. Now. Yeah, I know. Still, oh, Keith. Sorry. Um, and I, I'm going to leave you guys to eat. And he's oh, just going... he's, uh... Is Raider okay? Um, <laughs> I'm not sure, actually. I'm going to probably figure it out afterwards. Well, maybe but... check him in the bathroom. Yeah. If he needs a hospital or <laughs> he, some Pepto-Bismol or something. The school lunch is not great. Yeah, this is not a healthy, well-balanced yeah. meal to follow up whatever That's they're so serving you there. He's unwrapping his food. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> he just turns around, eating... The... As you're walking away, uh, Mr. O'Keefe, do not take that sandwich into the bathroom. Uh, public bathrooms are particularly high in particular sorts of um, particulate matter. Don't eat your sandwich in the bathroom. That's fair. Okay. I'll eat it over here. And Good. Throw this out in the garbage. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go and eat this sandwich as much as quickly as possible. Throw the um. Throw. Throw the paper away. <laughs> I don't know what's happened over there. She is the devil. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the I'm gonna throw the sandwich wrapper away mm -hmm. and try to grab the bag of money. Give me a criminal check. It's real hard to do that, McKay. Like, I'm casually reaching into this trash can up to the elbow. <laughs> I know. It's not something people normally do. Yeah, I know. Normally you kind of kick it open, like, with your big toe and throw it from a distance. You don't want to <laughs> touch those at all if you yeah. can help it. So if you're reaching way in. Um, you know, based on his rolls, 13? Yeah, you just did it very quickly. Yeah. You waited until nobody was looking, grab, okay, you've got the bag. Backpack. Okay. Go in and check on him. All right. <laughs> I wish I hadn't used my... These uh, kids just knocked over a Roy Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, definitely. Yeah, no, he's there. Yeah, crime is happening. <laughs> uh, so this is that This is that uh, suburban horror now. Yes. The horror is... The horror is we're, we're all inadvertently 13-year-old criminals. Uh, yeah, you've cleaned yourself <laughs> up. Inadvertent, 
this point. Yeah, now you've, you've leaned in. Yeah. Uh, you've cleaned yourself up. You're coming out of the bathroom as Lyle is walking past you, looking particularly awkward even for him. You all right, guy? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I thought we were going to... It's too late. Goodbye. Have a It's too late. Goodbye. It's too late. Goodbye. What the hell? Yeah, you just... Did he shit his pants too? <laughs> 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 this is in this right he's right like, like, like three bites into a sandwich when he hears two and he's like <laughs> <laughs> by the way by the way there's water at my feet yeah definitely um, I go hey miss your toilet's really backed up. I'm so sorry. And I'm just like, what? Why is that? I, I'm just out. I kind of just kind of tug him to I'm, like. I'm just walking out before he even. I don't know this man. Date line, Clearfield. Fast food waitress hangs herself in the store. Okay. I can't. Do my I back hurts so much. <laughs> Do I yeah. see her dad? Yeah. Just decide to kill uh, Yeah, yeah, you're coming out. And, yeah, miss, uh, uh, I backed up your toe. Ah, uh, you see that that uh, Mr. Ramis is there. Angrily threw down his sandwich now and stands I, up. Now pushes I Pushes the chair down. back in. <sighs> I, almost, I almost just left so hard that I choked that I almost choke spit up into my like nasal cavity <laughs> <laughs> and nearly I hate when I do that it was so close Shot to that with a french fryer like, like I did thank, it was the worst thank god for my glottal response being <laughs> as, as snappy as it was because otherwise <laughs> it would have just been Chex Mix crumbs and 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 this and, and, and tragedy <laughs> all right so <laughs> yeah worse uh, back to uh, back to first yeah you've come out of the bathroom uh, explained the situation in there and yes, you see your girlfriend's angry father looking at you uh, and angrily throw down a sandwich. <laughs> Mr. Hansen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you giggling at me? Yeah, okay. Yeah, because he's, I think yeah, it's yeah, funny yeah. when he's, that, that he's so mad. He threw down a sandwich. Oh. Right there. Uh, you fart long <laughs> and loud. <laughs> Yeah, it's dotting on you. You might have to go. <laughs> I'm like hunching over slowly as. Cheerful, ladies and gentlemen. Cheerful. <laughs> Snaps. 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 <laughs> help and he has to shout Mr. Ramis help he angrily reaches oh. into his coat and pulls out a bottle of Kaopectate <laughs> puts it on the table in front of him and just slides it towards you like a gunslinger sit he says. can you open it for me <laughs> no open it yourself you're a man <laughs> But Man, now, <clears throat> we're going to have a conversation because you've just given me the leverage I need. <laughs> Otis starts to talk, and his father just claps a hand over his mouth. Not now, Otis. Yes, it'll get again for me, too. By the way, you're still here. You still see all this happening, and you still have a bag full of money in your back. No, I walked out. I no, no, I'm talking to... Uh, oh, I was going to walk out, but... Yeah, you, you got stopped, and you, you're you in the middle of this like showdown the, at high like the noon. the last scene in fucking Pulp Fiction. Oh, my God. oh, yeah, it's totally that. <laughs> Everything is quiet. There is a bottle of Kaopectate waiting for you to sit, like, in front of an empty chair at Mr. Ramus's table, waiting for you to sit down. <laughs> I kind of, like, sit out the side so, like, my butt isn't, like... Firmly on. I don't want. There's just like a lot of stuff happening down there. <laughs> Isley, what are you doing? I have no idea. 
So you're just still standing by the trash can. Yeah, I you, was, deer was, and headlights is perfectly acceptable in this situation. I, my, my original uh, thing was that when he came out of the bathroom, I was walking towards the door to like I'm imagining McDonald's like the door and the bathroom like right next to each other. Um, They're close. Yeah, so I was heading towards there, and now he's been pulled into this direction. So I'm by the door, mm -hmm. just I'm just like. Have a seat, gentlemen. Well, I'm here now, too, all right. <laughs> oh, you're in this. Yep, I'm in this <clears throat> Mr. O'Keefe, Mr. Hanson. Mm-hmm. I had a discussion with Mr. O'Keefe a few moments ago about things that have transpired in the past week, and I was wondering if you might have anything to say for yourself. Following your display. <laughs> <laughs> he meant he talked to me, so he's asking if you have anything. <laughs> anything you would like to tell me? Uh, no. About, what, I mean, about you sneaking out with my daughter in the middle of the night? Uh, sneaking? I'm, I'm, I wouldn't call it s sneaking. Uh, we kind of we were Isley just puts his hands. We were like just kind of out, and it. Got dark. Ugh. All right, there's something I need you to say soon, or else I'm going to have to tell my sweet, sweet daughter everything that's happened here. <laughs> oh. Oh. I, he asked him, oh. How much is this dad your dad? Uh, no, he's like, uh, he's, he's Harold Ramis from Ghostbusters. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't do that. Well, then, what do you have to say for yourself? Um, so sorry there about... There it is. Yes, about... Late night escapade. Mm-hmm. Escapade. Oh, escapades. Why are you... <laughs> why do you choose words? That's, that's the right... Word. No, it just that's sounds what, a lot worse than did. your plan. That's what we did. You it was did an escapade. escapades. It was an escapade. We were on is an that end. what, what you're calling it? What is your definition of escapade? Because it's not my definition of escapade. I need someone at this table to define escapade right now. You finish the bottle of Kaopectate, and then you define the word escapade. Dad, an escapade is not now. We're talking. It's like a little party around town. We have a nice excursion. Yeah, nice is that another bad? Let's be more honest. We were for, we were biking around town, and two idiots with a car decided to try to drive us off the road. So we started hiding from them, which is the truth of what happened. I don't know why you're acting like it's not more like strange than what it fucking was. And then we wait, ran wait, away. Wait. What, what's this about somebody trying to ride you off the road? No, yeah, we we have there's this group of guys that from school that are always giving us a hard They're time. They're older. They're jerks that like they followed that mean. I was trying to help Matt. We Idiot were trying to not sure help each other. Before all of the stuff that happened with him, with the cops. Who's not sure Kincaid? Some high school jerk that happens to drive around in a car that's called the goat. I don't know. Okay, look, the, the point is. High school bully. You snuck into my house with the expressed intention of canoodling with my daughter. Mm. Is, is that what you call escaping immediate death? Is that a canoodle? <laughs> he, he thinks... He's just rubbing his temples. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask you to finish Mr. this bottle Mr. Ramis, of... Mr. Ramis, I don't even know how to canoodle. Yeah, I'm starting to believe you. Um, <laughs> you know what? If I were to talk to Sheriff Clifford, what would he be able to tell me about this uh, Notcher Kincaid character? Because I'm increasingly concerned that you guys are getting we're not messed even... around by high school students. That's wildly inappropriate. Yeah, he's very much a terrifying individual who just happens to pick on anyone that happens to be in front of him. So a bully. Yeah. Yes. A so. bad one. All right. We went from the Centauri when I had just... Picked up a new toy that I wanted to win from the uh, from the back behind, and we were going to your house for this purpose of like we were last time to hang out there as we've done before, and then 
we left because of some reason. It was really confusing. But we ended up leaving, and as we left, we went to go bike because the toy looked like someone who we'd seen at in Gossetville. And, because I lived there. And then those guys showed up with a car, and they started being mean, so we okay. went on the line. Okay, okay, so you were saying that somebody tried to attack you. Or at least scare us with a car. Was Maddie scared? Oh, she's pretty brave as a normal person. She was on the back That's of That's what we bike. were trying to tell you, but you guys were so mad. You didn't care what we had to say. We were trying to help each other out of this terrifying situation. So we went to my house, which is how we ended up there. In the we were place. hiding. We were s- Because we were scared. in Gossetville in the first place. Because so you we were weren't planning to- on... Making out or anything untoward no. like that. I play like D and D with Donna. <laughs> Making out. You play D and D. Yeah, I love D and D. What? Cl- you know what? No, now is not the time. <laughs> right now, Mister Ramos is like, okay, why isn't Isley dating my <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's really upset about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. You guys go home and think about it. But I want you to understand something. My daughter is in a terrible place right now. Things at home are, as you probably know by talking to her, not ideal. And she is vulnerable. I know. And I am asking you, both as her friends, not to take advantage of that. No. um, Isley, fuck it. Because this makes the most sense out of everything that he said today. Um, Isley just... No, Mr. Ramus... Um, listen, I know a lot about losing, like, a parent and losing people that are really important to you. And, uh, when everything went down that night, we were there to, like, help out and make her not feel as scared and so worried. And I tried to convince her and help her out to the fact of just because you happened to walk out that night didn't mean you were gone for good. Because God knows is that my mom is, and I can't do anything he about that. He puts a hand on your shoulder. I'm sorry about that, son. <clears throat> and Otis looks up at you with the big, like, five-year-old kid eyes. Where'd she go? He's, um, you know Somewhere what? Somewhere really cool with, if she's right, so many robots. He looks at his dad. What? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this later. <sighs> I never saw either of you. We never had this conversation. I have one final, very important request. And then I will purge this experience from my memory. And I will not forbid either of you from having contact with my daughter. Which, before today, was the first thing I was planning on doing. Raider, you need to finish that bottle of stomach. Okay. Yeah, it's not good. It's not, it's not a good idea. Are you planning on riding a bicycle home? Because <laughs> you're in for a rude awakening. You might walk. Yeah, maybe come back for it later. Okay. We've had a good talk. Uh... Go home. And he sits back down. Let's go home. <laughs> Dad? Here's your prize. Is the mom with robots? What does that mean? I don't want to have this conversation, Otis. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys walk out. <clears throat> uh, Donna and Maddie. Um, you guys are walking home from school. Uh, uh-huh. Since you live about a block from each other. Mm-hmm. Um, in third period social studies, each of you received a rather inter- intricately drawn uh, construction paper invitation in brown and green. Uh, uh, Maddie, yours was shaped like a witch. Donna, yours was shaped like a pumpkin. Little invitations to the Halloween spooktacular. What are you going to dress up as? Listen, one second. I want to know because I was hit in the head. Oh, with the, yeah. With like a, what was it? Like a tire iron. Yeah, you're a tire iron. So, how am I looking right now? 
Uh, you, you've probably got a bandage. Okay. Got like a big bandage on your forehead. Um, the swelling's gone now. Yeah, okay. but you've got like a... <laughs> I just want to know how bad it is. <laughs> anyway, sorry. You could dress up as like a mummy. Oh. <laughs> I want to be something cute. You could be like a cute mummy. You could be like... You could be a cute mummy. Haven't you seen the mummy with Boris he... Karloff? He's the he opposite of tea cute. as a mummy. It's food. Or you could be... I mean, well, what did you want to dress up as? Um, I don't know. I was thinking about, like, um, Wednesday Adams or, like, maybe, like, Cher. Oh. So you need a long black wig. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what I want to do. I want to just go do, like, kind of like a, like a cat or, like. Not a 1983. Yeah, you could, you could do that. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Are are the guys going? That's good. Uh, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't really. I mean, I didn't get to ask. Well, I'm sure they were invited. Everybody is invited. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna go us? I don't know. Probably something homemade and. Cardboard based? Yeah. Like a robot or a train engine or I feel like I feel like Isley's gonna go as like some punk musician like um Johnny Ra- like Joey Ramone or he's also gonna need a long black wig. Yeah. And then Raider will probably build something out of cardboard. Yeah. Both of you give me a perception check. How many? Twelve. Ten? Uh, you both notice a, uh, a police car has cruised around the block multiple times since you've been making this walk. Hmm. Do you think that they're watching us? Like, keeping an eye out? Because of what happened the other night? Yeah, maybe spooked our parents a little bit and got the cops following us? I don't know. I don't think, sure, I don't think like Sheriff Clifford probably has too much else going on with Abby Gibson being missing. I think he probably has a lot more to worry about than, like, making our parents feel comfortable. Well, but maybe... Maybe that's why. Maybe it's because those other two guys probably died and Tabby's missing and maybe they just don't want any other kids going missing? Maybe, but I don't think we have enough police to monitor all the kids in town. You think there's another reason that they're looping the block? Uh, give me a perception check. Again? Uh, yeah. Whoa. Twelve. Uh, that's another twelve. Uh... There is a fresh uh, poster up on a uh, on a um, telephone pole right at the corner of Winston Street and Tippett Avenue. For Tabby? You going to go check it out? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> you see a picture of a kid... Uh, it's his, like, high school photo. His hair is sort of parted to one side. It's shaved on the sides. Um, uh, it's, uh, David Sherrill, missing for four days. Is it someone... Last seen with Jamie Bozian. Jamie Bozian. Does the person look familiar? Looks he looks very familiar. There is another... Uh, is it somebody our age or older? Much older. Like high school. Okay. There's a poster on the other side for Jamie Bozian missing for four days. 
last scene with David Sherrill. Do you know either of them? Uh, do I? They, they look really familiar, but, you know, with little combed hair and the... Give me a perception check. <gasps> oh, I know who it is. I get it. I'm unclear. Gia knows. my better dice. Twenty. Twenty? Wait, that's that can't be right. Sixteen. I knew it wasn't twenty. Was that's like, no. still good. Uh, yeah, you're looking at uh, Jamie Bosey, and then you realize, okay, yeah, if his hair was like all sticking straight up, as opposed to like neatly parted and combed, and he had a safety pin through his nose. Oh God, that's Gutter Boy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they're skanking Gutter Boy. That's skanking Gutter Boy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they're missing. I thought they were dead. Well, maybe people don't know that they're dead. I mean, we... Maybe they weren't, but, I mean, probably are. That's probably why the cop is here. You think he's circling the block because of the posters? Yeah, I mean, probably that they think that maybe there's clues here because they were on... Weren't they on our street? Like You, you see know? there's a police officer walking... Across the street towards you. Um, you've seen him before. Um, black guy, looks to be in his mid-30s. Broad shoulders. Athletic build. Badge okay. says Cullen. Cullen? Ah, uh, yes. I know him from the high school. Yeah, from our we've... school, not high school. We've met him before. We've... Uh... He puts up another poster on the on the now poster covered uh, telephone pole. Mm -hmm. You girls familiar with the new orders from Sheriff Clifford? And it says strictly enforced to all citizens under sixteen, curfew, eight p.m. Oh, oh no, no, I didn't. Mm -mm. Everybody is <clears throat> to remain indoors after eight p.m. Uh, unless you are accompanied by a parent or guardian. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I would hope you didn't. Anyway, you girls have a nice day. Once. Are you, are you stopping him? I'm trying to figure out how badly Maddie wants to know why they're on the street. But I feel like she's just too tired of everything to, like, <laughs> dig into any more mysteries. <laughs> than... <laughs> we, I mean... We barely... <laughs> if you started to talk, he stops and looks at you. Is... Is there... I saw you go around a couple of times. Is there... Yeah, we've been looking for uh, these teenagers that have been missing for a couple of days. Or did you think they'd be here? Uh, well, we've got... Uh, we've been talking to some of their friends, said that they tended to hang around the area near the high school, and uh, Abernathy's right down over... On uh, housing, it's not far from here. Figured, do kind of a broad sweep in the area. If they show up, it should be around here. Okay, we're just concerned. And that's good. You should be alert. If uh, a stranger comes up to you, what do you say? Um, nothing. Yes, nothing because we're not supposed to talk to strangers. Good. Good instincts. All right. <clears throat> See you around, ladies. And he walks off. As you're approaching uh, Maddie's house, you see uh, her dad's van pulling up. Mm -hmm. uh, Otis runs out the back of the van <laughs> with a bag from Roy Rogers. <laughs> I got french fries, you did, ha 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 And he runs inside. Don't even want your stupid french fries. <laughs> Dad slams the door. Uh, we got you french fries, don't worry there. He holds up a bag. Wait, that's your dad? Oh yeah, that's my dad. So he's your boyfriend? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you... That's the other boy. Enjoy your Roy Rogers. I'm gonna get home and start thinking about a costume. Okay. Um, call me later? Yeah. 
I continue on to my house. All right. We're both very good girls, not trying to. Yeah, we're not rocking rock no boats. <laughs> we ain't rocking no boats. We ain't stopped at no more Rogers. If we're <laughs> sure not ourselves. We're not fucking. <laughs> <laughs> so well behaved. Real nice. <laughs> Not not shit nothing, no how. <laughs> no shit, no how. Yeah, not those pants. <laughs> so well behaved. Um when you get home, yes. uh your mom is on the phone. Gladys, you won't believe who came into the store today. Yeah. Yeah. And in his car. Well, I didn't see it, but Lydia saw it, and she said it was the same color. Oh, a Ford? No, that's not what I heard. Sweetie, there's cereal um, in the in the cupboard. Uh, okay. She's still talking on the phone. Okay. You go in, and I don't get any cereal, but I get myself a glass of orange juice. And, uh, I don't know. I pick up, what would be like a magazine that we would have in the house? Better Homes and Gardens. That's not going to be a place that I can look for costume ideas. Uh, well, no, we would Does have my to. mom have a McCall's ca- yes, uh, catalog? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I go for the McCall's catalog. Um, you can be a witch. Mm-hmm. You can be a pumpkin. Uh-huh. You could be the bride of Frankenstein. Oh. You could be a nurse. Mm. You could be uh, a robot, etc. and so forth. Now I know what I'm going to do. Mom, can I use the phone? I'm talking. It's very important. He said, what? No, you can't say that at the store. I have, I have to tell Maddie about something. I have a very important question to ask her. You're grounded, sweetie. Your father was very, very clear about that. Does that mean that I can't she has a, call Maddie? Another one? A whole family. You don't say. Hang on one second. You can call her when I'm done. Well, Mom, I have a very important question to ask you. Oh, hang on, hang on. I, yes. The whole fixture. The whole, the whole kitchen set. How dare he? How dare he? Oh my, I am incensed right now. Yes, sweetie? If I dress up as the Bride of Frankenstein for a party at the Frankensteins, do you think that'll give Lyle mixed messages? Yes, that's a bad idea. (laughs) No, no, I'm just trying to prevent my daughter from getting married to a corpse. (laughs) <laughs> mm-hmm. no he's very small he stayed back a grade well because Lydia said to Janice that yes well apparently he's very smart but you know I, I always saw her with more of a like oh, a doctor or, I told you there's cereal in the cupboard just cereal <sighs> okay Gladys I'm gonna call you back yes yes okay all right I love you too. I'll talk to you. I. He said what? <laughs> How? I go up to my room at that point. Uh. <laughs> a few days later. Uh, oh, I was gonna. I was gonna. Or actually, that, that later that evening. I was gonna going to ask my brother about something. All right. Uh, in that case, yeah, you head up uh, to your room. Your brother's so, in his room. Yeah, I go to Peter's room. I knock on the door. He's listening to In Excess. Nice. Peter? Opens the door. Yeah? Do you have, like, a copy of, like, a horror movie magazine that I could look at for Halloween ideas? He looks... His eyes dart to either side as if he's about to bring you into, like, a very exclusive club. (laughs) And then he closes the door and slides an issue of Fangoria under it. <gasps> I, I lean down. You didn't get it from me. I open it. I immediately close it and slide it back under the door. <laughs> Do you have anything that's less whatever that was? <laughs> or like, you know, a creative 
creative uh, Halloween witch hat or something. That was a little... There was a lot of blood in there. He opens the door a crack again and pokes his face through. Well, that's the perfect costume. What's the perfect costume? Just cover you in blood. You could be Carrie. Uh, is that a good idea? Is that going to be too scary? It's Halloween. There's no such thing as too scary. Where are we going to get that much blood? You don't need blood. You just need uh, a court. And he picks up the exact same magazine. Food coloring and caro syrup. That sounds very sticky. Hmm. It does. <laughs> oh, well. It's worth it. You know? Um, True um, actresses suffer for their art. Uh, um, okay. Uh, will you be able to help me with it? Yeah, of course. You just need a white dress. Um, and, uh, well, we're not actually using a pig. So just, just the white dress should be fine. Okay. Maybe a tiara. Okay, I have one of those. Oh, do you hold her I have my, now? does my mom have a sewing machine? Of course. Okay, I go downstairs. Uh, do we have, like, do we have, like, any, like, I ask her if, like, we have anything around the house that I could use to make a dress. Like, an old pair of, like, bed sheets or something. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, you can okay. put that together fairly easily. Um, then I am going to use you, so you start Shining sewing? Understudy. All right, roll them. To, yeah, to yeah. make my, my carry dress. Ah, uh, dice rolling. This is what I've been missing <laughs> for several minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, not great. A seven. Um, it's a little too small. Oh, oh no! All right. Uh, <laughs> jumping forward in time. Uh, this party has rapidly gotten away from you. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was supposed to start at eight o'clock on the dot. At 830, there was nobody there. It is now 8.45, and there are about a dozen people in your house. You know about six of them. Okay. So, I don't know what you were thinking for this party, but in my head, because Lyle's pretty antisocial, uh -huh. I kind of thought that this was his mom's idea. It is his mom's yeah. party, yeah. So this is, this is uh, what is this? This is Linda Frankenstein? Yeah, and she, uh, that's such a great name. Mm -hmm. Uh... And she is dressed as the Bride of Frankenstein. Uh, so this this whole thing I have in my head as being like, I had a friend of mine in 1983 um, who his mom went to, like she threw a huge Halloween party every year. And like, I, I, I feel like maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I think she always came dressed as Garfield. Weird. Because, <laughs> you know, it was the 80s. So yeah, uh, yeah, she can be Garfield. That's fine. And the like the the centerpiece of this party. It, this is why this is burned into my memory and will never ever 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 go away. Was the upstairs bathroom? They neglected to tell you that there was an actual human skeleton. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> what did you you know? afraid of skeletons? No, you being scared like, of cat? <laughs> no, something fell on my arm and I thought it was a bug, but it's a string. Now, Casey's just real afraid of skeletons. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Casey's... <laughs> don't, nobody, nobody mentioned human bones around Casey. So, gets real afraid. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there's a human skeleton on the back of the door to the bathroom upstairs, <laughs> which led to me running out of the bathroom upstairs during a party, peeing. <laughs> right, because you were afraid of that cowboy skeleton in yeah. Bowcraft Amusement. I thought, it, I thought it had finally gotten it. Finally got it. <laughs> <laughs> It was like I thought it had finally tracked me down. Door and he's like, had I closed the door. I Gosh, had my you know, my dick money. out, and like I was saying, like the first three drops, it hit the bowl, and I look, and there's a skeleton, like, haha, nowhere to run. And I'm like, that's where you're wrong, Bucko. Y'all call that a pecker. <laughs> Damn you, cowboy skeleton! I call that an escape. Oh. And yeah, then uh, my parents had to come pick me up because I <laughs> peed their upstairs carpet. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, and uh, all right. Well, then if, if Linda Frankenstein is, is dressed as Garfield, no, I, no, I, I'm going to go with Bride of Frankenstein. All right, cool. Uh, Maybe uh, you're dressed as Garfield. No, so uh, <laughs> I'm that obnoxious kid who's like dressed as a thing that nobody's ever heard. Of. Oh yeah, totally. Okay, that was me. 
Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then my, my older sister, Amanda, is probably dressed as Frankenstein's monster or maybe Dr. Frankenstein. No, I think, yeah, your older sister is the doctor. Yeah. And she's got the lab coat and everything. And the cravat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. She's she's super theater kid, so she's got the yeah, cravat. Well, my, mom, my mom is pirate tough, shirt. but funny and weird. And my sister is cool, but secretly weird. Okay. <laughs> They're all weird. And so what are you dressed as? I am, I'm... Uh, Gilles Garnier, the werewolf of uh, Dole. <laughs> so, oh my god. So 15, he was a, a 1500s cannibal who ate children in the French countryside and was burned at the stake. So what is the costume? <laughs> so it's based on a woodcut. All right. And it's just, I got as much like craft fur as like, I probably took like an old you know, uh, faux fur coat or something and then have like a torn up man's shirt and torn up trousers over it. And because the picture in the woodcut is just, you know, it's, it's, it's this old thing, so it doesn't look like a modern werewolf. It's just a man with slightly pointed ears and a wild mustache and beard and shaggy hair. Yeah. But it mostly just looks like a kid in a wig and a bad fake beard <laughs> wearing right. a fur coat under a shirt. So, <laughs> because I had this exact experience, again, I was that kid. So I wore a tattered, uh, a tattered button down shirt and ripped pants and a gray wig and a long gray beard. And I was the it's guy from the beginning of every Monty <laughs> Python episode. It's, it's, it's. I was that guy. And everyone the entire night was like, oh, you're Robinson Crusoe. And I'm like, I don't know him. <laughs> I'm, the I'm the it's guy from Monty Python. So all night you've been fending off. I am not an Ewok, especially since it's 1983. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. They're like, oh, you're an adorable little Ewok. Look at his little mustache. Oh, Jefferson, look at his little mustache. He's an Ewok. <laughs> I'm Princess Leia. Tomato peachy king. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> the, uh, I love whatever that NPC was. Yeah, she's... <laughs> She's dressed as Garfield. <laughs> it's one of my mom's it's somebody else. Yeah, yeah, it's just one of your somebody mom's Somebody else's mom. It's specifically your friend's mom. Yeah. She's yeah. just here. Yeah. Joanne. Woof. <laughs> Everybody Woof. knows a Joanne. Everybody's mom was friend with a Joanne. Yeah, yeah, true. And she was totally the kind of person who would dress up as Garfield. There were Kalahari Bushmen whose moms were friends with a Joanne. <laughs> Everybody's mom was friends with Joanne. All right. Uh, Maddie. Yes. What are you uh, dressed as? Maddie is dressed like, uh, I almost just said an astronaut, but that would be no, no bueno considering. Yeah, uh, definitely not too dressed. traumatic. Uh, <laughs> Maddie is dressed as a, a scientist. Okay, so you just have the lab coat? Yeah, she was, just got lazy, so she took her, she just raided her dad's closet. When you when you knocked on the door, another scientist uh, girl opened the door, and she just looks down at you. Oh, this is awkward. Are you also Victor Frankenstein? No, I'm. Uh, she's got her hair up, and she's just. Oh, she's got her. She's Marie Curie. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. She's got her hair up. She's got like a little. Like a, on her belt, she's got like a little bottle of, of radium, but it's like just <laughs> water with like green, like. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's nice. good. Like, no, I'm I'm Marie Curie. Oh, well, good, good. Come on in. I discovered radium. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everyone. This is Mary Curie. She discovered radium. Oh, you're an adorable little Frankenstein, just like your sister. I'm Princess Leah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hide him? I need, a, I I need more schnapps. And she just and staggers off towards the kitchen. Is she saying that she's, that she's Princess Leia even though she's dressed <laughs> Yeah, she's Barbie. definitely... I think she was probably Princess Leia last year. She just she forgot. Just forgot. <laughs> what is she forgot. She's dressed as She's dressed as Garfield, yeah. She just keeps saying, I'm Princess, Princess Leia. Leia. She's very drunk. Great. <laughs> she came here as Garfield carrying a white Russian. And yeah. Then just, <laughs> and then it just progressed. When Maddie walks in, uh, I think Maddie is the first person that you know that's here. When Maddie walks in, I immediately dive behind the couch. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your perception check. Me? Okay. <laughs> so 
Seventeen. Okay. Well, uh, let me see if I'm sneaky enough to get away with it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you came in and you're sort of scoping and you see, okay, yeah, there's a pirate and a Dracula and an Ewok just dove behind the couch. <laughs> do, do I see, notice that it's Lyle? Yeah, there's nobody else that really could be. He's, he was a very small Ewok. I'm going to like wander over and like duck my head behind the couch and be like, hey, Lyle. Ah! Hey! Maddie, Maddie Curie, what's going on? Mary, Madam, hello. How are you? At Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> it's impressive that he got it on the first try, though. Right? He's the first one. Yes. Everybody Halloween. else just thought you were a mad scientist. Yeah, well, I mean, not Ooh. technically inaccurate. Yeah. yeah, Joanne said that you were uh, here, so happy Halloween to you today. Happy Halloween to you today also. Yeah, it's awkward when we both say it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. I, I thought it would be less awkward if I said it too, but it wasn't. Yeah, this is making it, this is just really drawing it out. <laughs> so anyway, yeah. what are you, what are you? I'm, I'm, I'm an Ewok. No. <laughs> oh. It's a, it's a good Ewok. I'm not an Ewok. No? Sorry, Why did I'm, you say you were an Ewok? I don't know. Um. <laughs> I'm so I'm Gilles Garnier. I'm the werewolf of Dole. I was burned at the stake in 1574 for eating children. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, uh, especially because um, I had always lived by myself. I was a hermit, and then I got married, and I didn't. I was unaccustomed to feeding more than one person, and I was a really bad hunter. And then there was well, not really me. I'm Lyle. But <laughs> anyway, it was crazy because he went out into the woods and this grinning specter came to him out of the woods. And he was like a gentleman, you know, and he just shouldn't have been out there. This man like dressed in a suit and he gave him this ointment. He knew of his trouble. And he said, if you rub this on yourself, you can become a wolf and you'll be a better hunter and you can feed your wife. But Give me instead. a perception check while you're telling that story. What, what do I roll for perception? Uh, highest, highest passive. passive. Highest passive? Well. La -di -da. That's uh, this is the 10, 16, 19, 21. It's dawning on you that this, this story is genuinely terrifying her. Yeah. And he would have killed a, strangled a bunch of children and ate their legs and stomachs. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Grinning man in a suit? Uh, they said he was like the specter of like a gentleman who was smiling. That's all. It's, it's just an old story. Like, I mean, he's a historical figure, but we only have his word to go on. This was, this was in, in England? France. In France. Yeah. He was in France. Well, I mean, Gilles is a pretty French name. <laughs> <laughs> she like she just like slumps against the couch. Are you okay? A uh, kid in a football uniform. He's clearly one of the high schoolers, just in his football uniform as a football player. Walks past and points it to you. Oh, sweet, Lumpy from the Christmas special and uh, Lady Bruce Banner. Nice, and he. Goes back to get another drink. Tracking error. Okay. Sean Jaffe. The next two people to arrive to the party are Zach McGlunk and Aki Ackerman. What are their costumes? Oh my god. They're <laughs> trusting each other. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, your sister leads them over. Um, Aki is dressed in a full Frankenstein outfit and clearly <laughs> oh. has spray painted his entire body pink. <laughs> what? And accidentally spray painted one of his eyelids closed. <laughs> um, Why is that? And... Uh, Zach is uh, 
dressed as a vampire. Um, <laughs> oh, get these Frankenberry. I'm sorry, that took me way too long. Oh, okay. Uh, and has done the same thing with uh, with brown spray paint, so he just <laughs> looks like he just rolled in mud at best. Uh, and he, yeah, makes his way over. Oh, hey, you like, you like that French werewolf? Yeah. Hey, oh, that guy killed so many kids and like ate their legs and stomachs. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I had a lot of Roy Rogers before I came here. <sighs> I heard a story. You guys look great. Yeah. I can't I can't see. Tell me what's happening. <laughs> no, it's really cool. He's um he alright? Yeah. And he had kids. And um uh Maddie's here and she's uh, uh, she's Lady Bruce Banner. <laughs> no, uh she invented radium. <laughs> he still looks just just pale and not all there. Anyway, I'm gonna go get some uh, uh, candy corn and put it on my teeth. Yeah, <laughs> there's some over there in the bowl, by, you know, at the end of the hall. Where I got a cavity copies. on this one, so it really hurts when I do that. Oh, I'm starting to hallucinate. And he staggers off in that direction. Hey, maybe you might want to go wash your face in the bathroom upstairs. He turns back. Why? You would get the... Your eye... Never mind. Okay. Right. <laughs> he goes tromping upstairs. Meanwhile, uh, poor Aki is still there with his one eye glued closed. Oh, that's who I thought we were talking to. He right, sits there. down in the, uh, next to you. Uh, what's happening? I don't... I don't know what's happening. I'm... I... I really shouldn't have shot it directly in my face. I can see that being the last <laughs> <laughs> Lapse is a funny word. I inhaled a lot of paint. Yes. Jackie, you should go wash your eye. I did. I did. This is why well, I used house paint. Why would you do that? Oh, I didn't want it to come it. off. You didn't want it to come off. I mean, it makes oh, sense Aki, in a way. Well, oh. you, should, you should go to the hospital. It. I should. <laughs> Aki, go talk My dad says hospitals are only for broken bones and... He looks at a word written on his hand. Pussies. Oh. Aki, you should go to the hospital because otherwise I think the only way to get your eye open is acetone. And I think that that will make you blind. Oh well, I don't want to do that. We're going to send Gay Frankenstein and Count Al Jolson to the hospital. <laughs> 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 On that note, the Raider is definitely coming in. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I, I'm dressed like uh, Dr. Newton, because I thought it would make Maddie laugh, but I probably just look like Einstein. Oh, wow. So it's another med scientist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet Dr. <Titan> Frankenstein. <laughs> Raven goes in and I say, like, oh, hey, Raven. Oh, man, my sister's going to be bummed. She has the same costume. Wait, well, she's dressed as Dr. Newton, too? You're... From the, the lake. The, the, the crazy doctor guy from the lake. The guy with the fake cookies? For what it's worth, he does have a huge, like, fake mustache, which none of the other Frankenstein seem to have. Oh, Maddie loves this guy, so I thought that this would be funny. It's great. It's really great. You look good. <laughs> playing with the mustache. She's still got her thousand yard stare. <laughs> she hasn't even, like, noticed you. Playing with the mustache. Yeah, I had. What's yours held on with? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, gum. Yeah. <laughs> Spirit gum? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's, like gum. it's bubble mint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to Double mint. Double mint. <laughs> my eyes are watering a little bit because of mint. <laughs> why are all of my classmates so bad at Halloween? This is why I don't talk to anybody. Okay, uh, Isley. Um, Isley walks into the party dressed up as, uh, Sid Viciousstein. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just Sid Vicious, um, but he has bolts, spirit gums to his neck, 
That's fantastic. And a um, and a line going like across his forehead that has just like the star. Bull stitches. But it's very obviously done in just eyeliner. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, he was just going to be Sid Vicious, but his name's like, Frankenstein, so he's got to do something Frankenstein. What's wrong with people? Why wouldn't you do something Frankenstein? Gotta do Frankenstein more party? Frankenstein. Yeah. I thought everyone was going to show up partially Frankenstein. You see, there's there's a ton of different Frankenstein. Oh, uh, yeah. Mostly doctors, though. Mostly Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> it's, it's a lab coat heavy night. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of lab coats in, in the mix. Everyone really wants to. But mine's the best okay. one because it's real. Oh, yeah. You've got the the only one that isn't, like, made out of, like, that, like, Jawa cape plastic. It's <laughs> <laughs> hey. it. That was a deep cut reference for anybody that I it know wasn't. He's, I know in the era. He's referring to the old Kenner Star Wars action figures. <laughs> Many of the cloaked characters you were given a flimsy plastic uh, accoutrement to stimulate their <laughs> dripping, flowing robes. Thank you. Nailed it. Yeah. yeah. Done in one. Yeah, good job. Putting that in. That was yep. beautiful. Yeah, we got to leave that. I never say that. I always say we're cutting stuff. <laughs> Is Donnie here yet? Um, no. Yeah, at this point, I assume that you guys have sort of all accumulated on oh. the... Uh... Hey, everybody. So, oh, man, I... Einstein, uh, she's dead. And Maddie. I'm like just shoving her. Maddie. Yeah. Maddie. Wolfman? Maddie. Oh, yeah, cut it. Uh, all right, cool. You got it. It's funny, right? It's great. Well, yeah, you just got for the mustache. Yeah, well, like, why would you I'm, do that? I don't, I don't know. Guys, my teeth hurt so much. Oh my God, go oh. to the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the, the, the candy corn over both teeth. Your gums oh. are bleeding so much. <laughs> yeah, it looks really real. Oh, sorry. Bad news, Lyle. I use your toothbrush. Uh, <laughs> I got to go uh, and eat some of those uh, chocolate peanut butter. I'll be right back, Benny. <laughs> Why is he a is racist vampire? <laughs> Aki is. I can't see. I think he's Count Jocula. Oh. Aki, go to the hospital. No, that's not no I can see if I look this way. Aki, go to the hospital. I can see out of the corner of my eye. Take Zach with you. I go and I like, like pull his eye up. Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, that's better. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. All yeah, probably shouldn't. All of his eyelashes are still stuck to his cheek. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The eyelashes are all just ripped off on the one side. <laughs> He looks, looks like Alex Delon. Yeah. <laughs> Real weird and terrifying now because he's all pink with like eyelashes on one side. He's like a clockwork Frankenberry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm going as next Halloween. Sean, I'm going as a clockwork Frankenberry. <laughs> Count it. Done. All right. <clears throat> oh, man, you guys. You ring the doorbell. So when the door opens. You are seeing Donna in, like, that exact, like, arms kind of stretched out at her side, to, like, head to toe, covered in blood, at, like, in that perfect carry scene. But the reason is because her brother, basically, to help her do this costume, just dumped an entire bucket of caro syrup and red food coloring <laughs> over her head. And so maybe she a little is, pig's blood. She is freezing cold and very sticky. <laughs> and to make matters worse, I, I would say that the dress worked out in such a way that it is for the first time really showing off your figure. Oh yeah, her, her tits are out and... The entire, and like, the entire party just bad. stops and, whoa. Yeah. And she's walking like Carrie. Like, she's kind of stiff because she's cold and very, like, she's not trying to, um, she's trying to keep her arms from, like, sticking to her side so they're out a little bit. And she's just walking around, like, very stiff and Carrie, like, and, like, Bride of Frankenstein, like, through the party being like, <laughs> yes, yes, this is the costume that I chose. I chose to do this. This is, this you is see I... the, the usual suspects are over on the couch. <laughs> Hello? Happy Halloween! Oh my god, you look amazing. Thank you. Carrie, oh. right? Uh-huh. I'm very cold. You're and... leaving, by the way, bloody footprints oh, yeah. on the carpet everywhere. You sit on the couch, just blood all over the couch. <laughs> and, and for what it's worth, Mama Frankenstein is too impressed to be angry about it. She's just... That's Carrie. Like, <laughs> every single aspect of it is dead on. Do you want, like, 
Like a t-shirt or something? Um, it would ruin the line of the dress. Cool. <laughs> Zach comes back with like an armload oh, of Halloween candy. <clears throat> ah, sweet Kool-Aid man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I, I got I got lifesavers and brownies, Hershey's. What should we call it? My mom didn't put out brownies. He takes the brownie and throws it <laughs> to one side into the kitchen, and uh, oh no, I got those from the football team. <laughs> How many did you eat? Six. <laughs> Before you got to us. I like brownies. Zach, you sit down. <laughs> he slumps down next to uh, Aki. He's, we look great, buddy. <laughs> you guys. I, I, I grab the, the four of the real people. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are not going to believe what happened. I, we were at Roy Rogers. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like the nah, nah. What? What happened? We got the some house? fries. We got some fries. It was they were they were okay. That's uh, pretty. You were wait. You were right. My dad was at Roy Rogers. Yes, that is what. We oh my god! I heard the story. Did you guys see the poop bandit? There was a guy, and he distracted everybody in the Royce. He just shit his pants and then stole $4,000. What? He was in the paper. No kidding. <laughs> Someone shit their pants to steal It was a distraction and a brilliant one at that. <laughs> so gross. Who would do that? Did they, did they have video footage of any of this? Did it say in the paper? Uh, the they did, but they can't, they can't make out exactly who it was. Wait a minute. If you said there was about a thousand dollars left in that bag after I threw it in the garbage, <laughs> does Lyle have roughly three thousand dollars? You grabbed mostly hundreds. Ah! <laughs> Lyle, are you all right? Uh, I'm just so did you see to watch it? Jaws in 3D. I got all these 3D glasses at the <laughs> Roger. That's awesome, man. That's really great. Thank you for getting all these. Are uh, you, uh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, oh. <sighs> the door swings open, and there's a police officer there. Ah! You're all under arrest and... for partying. I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, partying! I just hope he's like, hey, for partying. Thank God. <laughs> Who is it? <sighs> uh, it's Benjamin. Smell. Benjamin, the guy that runs the uh, local electronics store. Yeah. Like, yeah. He Lyle goes in and immediately grabs it. As soon as the cop shows up, Lyle just throws up his hands. He goes, I didn't know! I didn't know it wasn't me! <laughs> that kid's good. That kid's going places. Go, somebody get me a beer. Hey everyone, Joey again. Before you go, I just wanted to ask you to follow us on social media. Follow us on Twitter at Rememorex. Follow us on Instagram at Rememorex Not a Test and check us out on Facebook. Just search Rememorex Not a Test. See you next time. <laughs>